You guys are listening to the Speaking Code podcast. This is Code Conspiracy of a Dead Man. You're about to listen to episode 11, part two, as we uh, break down a little bit more symbolism on uh, music. We talk about uh, Travis Scott, a little bit of little Uzi Vert, and then we start talking about um, the basics and stuff about uh, the monster can and what's on there, what's on the the dollar bill, uh, and we get a little bit about talking about Google. Uh, so follow us and the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and uh, enjoy the show. some other stuff i wanted to talk about i too. got one if i may yeah do you yes. like travis scott oh do you like uh, i travis actually scott? do really listen to his music i've heard about him heard of him yeah heard of the whole situation with the the riot or Stephanie, world he did the, but I, yeah i can't say did i'm you? like i'm a fan of his music mm-hmm. anyway that was the, uh <laughs> If you go back a few years ago, he had that song Highest in the Room. Do you know that one? Highest in the Room? Yeah, Highest in the Room. Okay. If you watch that video, it's all, it's his journey. And like, it's really symbolic. There's a lot of stuff in it. And the album cover for that's on, that has that track, it's uh, like, a ladder in the sky with the flame on it and that's a masonic mm. thing it's like it means he's elevated the highest the human consciousness can go he's closer to god okay. you know what i mean he's closer to heaven See how the free but if you watch like it ladder. Mm-hmm. um i'm showing up getting picture closer of, uh... to god but if you yeah. watch the video he starts on the bottom pretty much and he, go- he starts going into a building and he goes up and up and there's a lady there who, in my opinion, is the devil. It keeps taking them okay. higher and higher, you know. And then if you it's, listen, it's you almost listen like to you're the taking lyrics, them, huh? It, it's almost as if they're taking them higher into uh, not so much enlightenment, but fame and fortune. Okay. But they're yeah. selling it as if he's actually going listen up higher, higher and higher, like he's getting. Not that he's getting closer to God to be close with him. Yeah. He's getting closer to his level. Okay. That's he's what cool. I feel like. And they're when he's to saying it, he's the highest in the room. He's no one's above him. He's saying he's the highest. Mm. But watch the video. Look at the lyrics. Listen to him and read them, you know? Yeah. And which time what was the think? name of this again? Highest, highest in, the, in room. the room. Yeah. Okay. The other one I, I mean, wanted to talk to you about too. Like, yeah. Oh, I know, man. I, I freaking hated it. I used to listen to Travis Scott at the gym all the time. Freaking uh oh, what was it called? Night not nightmare. It's called something. I can't remember what it's called now. I quit listening to it. I started listening to good godly music. <laughs> um with a good message. Uh but anyway, I was listening to oh, I was watching a video earlier about uh little little Uzi Vert. Okay. So yeah, little Uzi Vert. Sure. Yeah, he's got that weird gem diamond thing screwed yeah. into his head now. But uh they were saying well, like if he's, you say his out. name Ugh, by a person? Yeah, someone in the crowd. Dang, it wasn't like he was washing his hair. <laughs> <laughs> um but he just had a, a thing recently at a concert and he was telling everybody like oh you're singing my song you know that if you're singing the song you're going with me we're all going to hell and like pretty much saying yeah. like because you're here worshiping and singing the song you're going to be going to hell with me oh you sure yeah, yeah there's so one there's one there's a song from him too that says it like in the beginning i used to listen to it a lot then when i actually heard that part i was like well god damn and then i don't really i don't listen to him since 
But whatever, okay. we could fight about it if you want. I don't know. We could fight about <laughs> it. Yeah, and then like um, I don't know. I I feel like some of these are pretty pretty basic and stuff when it comes to uh, to yeah. So and stuff. the yeah. tossing eye obviously is one. Just a picture of one eye. Um, eye horse. Yep. The diamond or like a pyramid with the eye in it, obviously. All seen like eye. the eyes all the way at the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, and like there's uh, uh what was I gonna tell you? Sorry, I'll let you go ahead. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Another basic one for me is the monster can, the monster symbol for monster energy. The uh -huh. M is the the M is the Hebrew number for six. And there's three of them, so six six six. Okay. And it's just, I don't know if it says Mark of the Beast or Drink the it's like Unleash the Beast or Drink the Beast or something. Yeah. And then um oh, the O, oh, the O or, the, or the T. The O or the T is uh inverted cross. When um you can look at it, we can fight about it later. <laughs> no. One of the things too, uh Israel Adesanya during the UFC fight this past uh like two weeks ago. He yeah. um he went up front of the monster energy sign and he like flipped it off and then he went down and he drew a cross right on top with his finger. Like he didn't draw anything, he just did the outline of a cross on, like on top of the monster. Yeah, like the symbol of a cross like an actual like crucifix yeah. on the top of it. Didn't even notice. Yeah, so I was like, it's supposed cool. to look like I don't know. It's supposed to look like a rip, like a monster clawed it, right? Clawed the yeah, can. Falling through it, right? But if you look yeah. up the Hebrew numbers for six then tell me it's not, you know, and we can fight. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, on a dollar bill, too, I wish I had it on me, but um, one of the most, uh, they said, one of the most eye-catching dollar bill symbols is the pyramid, which represents strength and duration. Some interpret the missing top of the sign of, sign that the country wasn't finished yet, which is stupid because it's not, it is finished. It's got the stupid eye on top of it. <laughs> Freaking turds. Um, the other thing too, the, at the bottom of the pyramid, it says M, like Mike. D is in Delta. C is in Charlie. C is in Charlie. L is in Lima. X X V is in Victor, and uh, I. And all of those, um, break down to uh, seventeen seventy six. That says 1776 in Roman numerals. Okay. Um, and what that was was the year that the uh, that the Freemasons were created, and it was also the year that the United States was created. 1776. So the Freemasonry yes. year, um, right? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, the other thing was the eye above the pyramid. <laughs> yes. Um. I don't know. I they're like, oh, it's Benjamin Franklin's eye or Thomas Jefferson's. It's like, no, it's not. And why would it need to be one of their eyes anyway? Yeah, but they said when uh, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams gathered to design the seal, they were the first of the three committees to make suggestions. And I almost wonder if they were a part of the Freemasons. Could have been the original. Of course they were. Yeah. And then it says uh, on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. The uh, the Roman numerals of the M D C C L X X Y uh, V Y or V I um, it it's the Roman numerals. Okay. For seventeen seventy six, which is crazy because I didn't know M was a Roman numeral. Yes. Or D or C or L. <laughs> I knew M and L were. I thought just X V and I. I guess. Yeah, but no, I knew. I knew M and L were. Yeah. But I did not know about like D and C. I didn't know they were Roman no more. Oh, you know yeah. about that. And then on the bottom, you know it says, <laughs> it says uh, Novus Ordo Seclorum, or Seclorum, which means uh, new, it was like something new world begin, new world beginning, new which beginning. which is new world order. Or something like that. I can't remember. It was like new order, new order of the beginning. So new world order. Okay. Or something like that. I can't, I can't remember exactly what it was. I'm trying to break it all down without having the real facts. I'm like looking at a this. I, I was watching a documentary my buddy uh, told me about. It's like a two hour one. And I think the last 15 minutes is when they actually actually mention it. 
but it's it's all about breaking down all the symbolism in the United States dollar. Hmm. There's a number 13 on the number one. And then at the top, top of the number one, there's a little owl if you zoom in. Okay. Which I don't know if they're trying to say that it was wise or if they're like breaking it down into something else. So the uh, Novus Ordo Seclorum at the bottom, um, it's a new order of the ages. That's what it translates. Yeah, which is new world order. NWO. (laughs) I don't know. It's just some weird stuff. They got like a G, a capital G on it with a three next to it and then a big eight, like for no reason. The um uh the Google Chrome symbol is also triple six. Yes. Really? Yeah. I never knew yeah, that. Yeah, it was Google Chrome. What makes it do triple All six? I'm saying is look into it. Yeah. And then I was the Gmail the more Gmail thing. symbol, the envelope with the Masonic M. Yep. Fight me. Huh. We'll we'll have to show you all these. I, I feel like we posted them. I posted them in the Discord before, but then I got deleted. No. Um. On ax, it was an accident, so, right? So the, so the two. What what did you say? Uh, Google. What what did you say their thing was? Chrome. Google Chrome. Chrome. There's Triple also six. another one. No. So Google has two different things. They have Google Chrome. Okay. And they also have like Andro. Google Androm? Adreno Chrome. Or Adreno. Get it, get it, guys? Yeah. Adreno Chrome. Those are their two programs that they have, and it makes up Adreno Chrome. I think it's Adrena is their one, and then the other one's Google Chrome. You getting tired? <laughs> you want to go sleepy, out? Sleepy, buddy. Let's go out. <laughs> it's only All 6.35 right. here, guys. Jeez, it's almost 10 here, and I still got to poop and shower. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, we'll make it quick. No, but, uh, it? no, That's I haven't, nasty. haven't had a solid poop in a long time. No, the G. I had pre workout. That's why I'm all energized. I was gonna say, did you be eating your vegetables? It's all loose. Had a cheeseburger. What vegetable is that? You're like, well, cows eat, eat, yeah, eat, it, eat it, grass, it, so it you pretty much eat salad. <laughs> <laughs> but but I do jet, genetically modified. Yeah. What did you say? I do got to buy most, so. Okay. Well, no. we'll definitely catch up soon. I promise. Um, yeah. We'll we'll get another episode in. Hopefully, uh, the people that you had you said had questions, they can ask them to us, and we can try to yeah, answer man. with the best of our abilities. Yes. So. And I, I try to get them. Um, yeah. Fucking maybe Sunday I have them. I'll just, I'll just hit you up real fast and have them ask you or something. Okay. Or I'll record worst it. case scenario, I mean, like we could just make, yeah, we could just make it like a real quick one or something, or like even if it's only like twenty or thirty minutes or fifteen minutes, we can okay put it out there. Makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, any other symbolism you want to talk about besides what we've talked about so far? I feel like we got the uh, basics. Not, not yeah. that great. I mean, we'll do it again and we'll do it better. That, like most people know. Yeah. Well, like what? The ones we covered. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Is there anything the Google else? Google Chrome, Monster Energy. Ones I've heard about before, but like they're not coming to me at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's it would almost be better. Like it's, I wish we had a young Jamie from Joe Rogan that could just look it up. For look it up. Yeah, because you guys were talking on the last episode or the Black Holes episode, uh-huh. and I was like trying to figure stuff out, and I was like, oh, I didn't hear any of that. Like I just tuned you guys out while I was typing. But I'm like, I, I couldn't have a conversation. This out. Wow. Wow. I didn't mean to. Well, here's the question that you had. You asked him, and I've listened to the podcast four times because I just had to do that to edit it yeah. um, or delete stuff, I guess. But uh, you asked him his favorite Power Ranger, and you said yeah. something. The Magna Defender from Lost Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy. Yeah, you were well, like, when I first Lost asked him, Galaxy. he hit me with me. Yeah. What is that? That's that was like he asked um, me what my favorite Power Ranger was. Because so there's power there's Mighty Morph from Power it. Rangers and then the one after that was like some ninja one and then it was Lost Galaxy and Power Rangers in Space and Power Rangers Turbo. Oh, I don't remember those. Oh, where have you been? Yeah, it was I like, just when he said what's your favorite Power Ranger, I thought you're gonna give a color. Like the black one. Yeah. I don't know. No, they're good more than just <laughs> colors, like the know. green one. I don't know. It's just like like you said, there's Mighty Morphin. Yeah. And there's 
Power Rangers Turbo. I thought you were going to say Tommy. Power Rangers Space. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Power Rangers Time Force. Power Rangers Ninja God Storm. Damn. Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Jeez, have you seen any of those? Bits and pieces of some of them. What about you, Chente? I've never heard of any. You don't I let your inner child out. saw some of like the base ones. Now my kids watch them now. I don't know which ones it is. Okay. Oh, and then I remember Ninja the other question. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm like, are, are Ninjago? <laughs> like, I don't know what any of these are. No, but uh, the other question you had was, uh, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? And it was Donnie. Donatello. So yes. here's what's crazy. Well, not crazy. Um, here's the symbolism be- behind that. So don't you ruin the ninja turtle. Donatello was extremely smart, but he has the most simple weapon. Yes. Um, Michelangelo is the goofiest and most out of control. So he gives him a weapon that, that he, he has, has to, to he has to focus on. And then Raphael was the douchebag and he was very aggressive, but his weapon is mostly for defense. Yep. And then Leonardo's I don't remember he's like the leader, so he has like the dangerous weapon to like I think remind him himself that like he's in charge and he can't just willingly take a life or something like that. Oh, oh okay. I, I've seen the thing you were talking about yeah. when it had the breakdown. So that's the symbolism. I thought that was kind of cool too. But, but there's I, symbolism like that 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 I would like to get into one day too. I like that too because I I feel like that like I'm not technological and a brainiac like Donnie, but like I'm a simple person. <laughs> so having a simple weapon makes sense. For yeah. Me. Like a bow staff for my fist. Those are my two options because, like, I I can defend myself easily with those, not hurt people, and there's not a whole lot of like learning that needs to be done to use them properly. Yeah. My favorite was Raphael, but it was because when we were kids, there was four kid, there was four boys on my street that like we would always hang out with. Yeah, and the one kid wanted to always be the nerdy guy. He wanted to be Donatello. And then my other friend would be like, I want to be Leonardo because his favorite color was blue. So, but the Donatello guy was like three years older than us or a couple years older than us. So he always would lead anyway. <laughs> so and then, then the youngest one was always going to be Michelangelo because he was like goofy and loved pizza, I guess. And then uh, I always liked red. So I was like, oh, I'll be Raphael. Okay. So and I liked he was crude with an attitude. <laughs> so. How come no one ever wanted to be Casey? Casey Jones? We didn't only have four boys. We could not be a Ninja Turtle. The one kid had masks and suits, and I had the pajamas. Sick or or on vacation with April? No, well, they did have chicken pox. The one girl was April, the one that played with us, but we didn't have enough boys. The rest were our sisters and stuff. So there was Venus. I don't know what that is. In later Turtle episodes, there was a girl turtle named Venus. Doesn't count. You never made it that far. Oh, if it's not the 90s with the original drawings, I don't want anything to this, do this, with it. I want to say this was in those. This, this isn't like a new up-to-date one. This was like back from when we were little, too. You didn't even know who the Rat King was. No, but I knew Crane. I knew the Fly Guy, Baxter, yeah. um, Shredder. You remember the Rabbit Samurai? Blake Clan. The White Rabbit Samurai? No, I don't know. No? Oh, also, the White Rabbit. You don't know about they said like Alice in Wonderland, follow the White Rabbit? No, why did they say that? Because there was a rabbit she was following. She I thought it was some symbolism. Yeah, yeah, but oh. so adrenochrome, if you look at the DNA, is it the DNA makeup? Mm-hmm. No, what's it called when you have like the molecule, the me- molecular like design? What's your DNA? It might be. The but helix? Possibly. Some helix? So. Adrenochrome, it's that it actually looks like a white rabbit or not a white one. It looks like a little rabbit. Okay. So they say like follow the white, white rabbit or follow the rabbit down the rabbit hole. You go further and further down conspiracies, okay. or you just go further and further down into looking things up and like getting more and like say rabbit hole. Yeah. Okay, makes more sense. Yeah. So I don't know. Double helix. I think that's what it's called. Like when they have a whole like DNA strand. I think that's called. Uh, the uh, helix. This one's like an actual picture. It's like a molecule. It's like it's just a it's single like a molecule and a molecule, and then it's got like two things off of it. I don't know if I've seen that one. Sorry, I'll I'll look it up real quick. Jamie then... is looking it up for us, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, 
Hey, Joe Rogan, you've had enough success. Let us borrow Jamie for a little bit, <laughs> and uh, we won't give him back. Go on Wayfair and tell him to us. But did I go too far? I feel like I went too far there. There we go. It's a molecule. I think that's how do you say it. It's a molecular formula. Like the molecular formula would be like C little nine H little nine N O three. Oh, okay. But when you look at how it's made up like this, see how it's the shape of a rabbit when it's sideways. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. So, so when they say like follow the like it's a ra like it looks like a rabbit. That's how they did it, and it's kind of like a little bunny. Kind of like a uh, constellation, and like it doesn't really look like it, but. When they put eyes and stuff, and they put little ears, I could like, I can see yeah, it better. Yeah. With the bunny <laughs> back in the box. So, I don't know. What do you think about this one? You, you guys good with this one? Yeah. It was satisfactory. Satisfactory. I don't know if that's a word. I don't either. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. Thank uh, okay. You. Okay. See, I told you people I'm not smart enough to be down. He's, I still. He's like a status warehouse. <laughs> these glasses don't make me smart, no matter what people tell you. Well, you can read more. It's more fantasy books. <laughs> Just finished one today. Nice. Book nine of the year. Not any of the ones that I let you borrow. You I don't want to work. take those to work and get them dirty. Uh, I don't care. I do. I you gotta respect the books. Well, yeah. Respect the house. You haven't seen how just, yeah. You haven't seen how dirty and oily it can get where I work. Yeah. Like I might not even be able to read a page. Where after you work, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, all right, man. Well, uh, I think we could wrap this one up. This is gonna be episode eleven. God damn! In the money. Episode eleven. The double digits. Yeah, and I think episode ten. I think we'll just release that as one big hour long episode. Okay. For mental health, I don't know if we need to like, break it up into parts. No. Only if you need to. Nah, I think it'll be good as being like its own thing. Its own solid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Own solid liquid gas. Um. <laughs> and then this one i'm sure it'll probably be like two parts at least um but uh yeah you guys just listened to episode 11 probably part two or this will be, i'll edit it and say part two after that one <laughs> um, but uh this is a conspiracy of a dead man signing out and saying uh stay safe and stay blessed and don't look into the sun too long because then you'll your eyes will burn uh, this is, this is uh, Chantizo. Oh, I beat you. Nope, nope, I beat you. Yeah, you shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this is Chantizo. I'm out. Hat to the back. <laughs> well, uh, this is uh, me as your uh, Xenom. <laughs> I'm all messed up after that now. This, this is uh, Monsieur Theodore Dini Mite. Letting you know that. Uh, your wife visits me sometimes. Your what? Your wife visits me sometimes. Oh. Thought for the day. You must open your arms and embrace the changes that life brings. For trouble awaits those who stand rigid in the waves. Uh, this is, this uh, is Chantizo. Oh, I beat you. Nope, nope, I beat you. Yeah, dude, shut up. up. Shut up. This is Chantizo. I'm out. Hat to the back. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, this is, uh, me and your uh, Xenom. <laughs> I'm all messed up after that night. This, this is, uh, Monsieur Theodore Dini Mite. Let you know that, uh, your wife visits me sometimes. Your wife visits me sometimes. Oh, nobody's married. Single. Everybody looks at this as single. Except for Chante, are you talking to We don't know that. <laughs> There's just people in Arkansas listening to this. Oh. There's oh. one listener from Brazil. See? Yeah, we have a listener from Brazil. Why does my wife keep going up to America? Yeah. She, she likes, a, she likes a, a, a teddy bear cuddle. Get some of that. Chocolate. <laughs> All right. And then, uh. Damn. And then what is it? Hey. 
Yeah, let's go, sir. Yeah, I gotta go poop. Go to no. sleep right. with itchy butt. Wake up yeah. with smelly finger. I don't know how to do what, huh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. I'm about to end. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good night. Peace. 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 Peace.